This paper won a Best Paper Award from the Cross-Cultural Strategic Management Journal, probably not least because we introduced a new methodology. We introduced a new way of looking at things. We introduced a new way of comparing groups, which is what we call interocular testing. Simply put, look at your data, eyeball your data, look at the differences and move away from this over-reliance on this p-value. If we have a look at, say, this particular chart, one is uh, hedonism, the other one is altruism. These are the average scores for several different cultural groups. And this is how the data are usually presented. We can see that those averages are, appear to be quite different from one another. But if we look at all of the data and scale those averages in the dimensions of all of the data, we can see that there's very little difference at all. If we look at big countries such as, for example, the United States, you have one value, a mean, an average, that is supposed to capture a whole dimension. Is that really true? We have migration, we have immigrants, we have people living in very different conditions. People living in New York have a very different environment to people living in San Diego and in Alaska and Hawaii. And we started to explore alternative ways to compare groups. And we wanted to see whether there would be a different way uh, moving away from this reliance on just that p-value. And one avenue that we started to explore was actually to plot the data, to look at the data. Encouraging people, I think, to look at the data and understand the context in which they're trying to analyse the data. It seems pretty straightforward, but too often we rely on putting data inside the computer and relying on clever statistical packages rather than just think about what the information, what the data means. The contribution that we're making in this paper is that we're encouraging people to not throw away their traditional statistical tests, but to also consider the variation in the data and ask a question as basic as, if we take a person at random from this group and a person at random from this group, what are the chances that the first person scores higher than the second person? If both groups are the same, the score should be 50-50. If the score is 60-40, that might be worth talking about. 70-30 is definitely worth talking about. And that simple statistic has different names, the most common one is the common language effect size. And we'd encourage people to use that.